be gone, the torment of my intractable past, as the numinous winds have not sung my dirge, before subtle whims have quite as sudden and vast, blinding me with the old tempest and scourge. The piteous days of my lament funnels I see, beyond my plutonian chamber now haunted, by the pallid spectres of nightmares I can't flee, and the contempt of a craven in me daunted. Plaintive voices silence quickly my fading sanity, as I endure the desuetude of a horrid dissolution first, and the doors to Elysium close upon a drear reality, a transient respite of my laden guilt to curse. Herefore, I shall linger in a pool of deep sorrow, drowning in the quaff of my visible anguish, till the seraphim sing my pain in the morrow, and my soul from behind, my shuttle, I relinquish. Alack, the radiant maidens of the heavens I implore, when the tempest roars of her soul's hoary and bold, whose unbearable echoes I attempt then to ignore, casting them to the bottomless pit so cold. Hark, the strident echoes reverberate in my demise, taunting the fate of my faltering soul beguiled, in the fallen vestige of the nepenthe I despise, with the spectral breath of my spirit forever exiled, the vestige of my nepenthe. End of poem.